Hey guys, I'm Colin Healy and I'm a style correspondent for Broken Suave. I'm here to show you how to tie a tie. Today we'll be going with the full Windsor. Now this one's pretty formal, so you're going to want to wear that to a job interview, a wedding, or just a nice date that you're trying to impress. So I'm going to take you through some step-by-step -step instructions. Now let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we're going to start with the seam on the inside uh, laying against your neck. Fat side on the left, skinny side on the right. I'm right-handed, so that's how I do it. If you're left-handed, you might want to switch it up. I like to start with the skinny side about halfway down my stomach. Again, this is personal preference, and um, I'm a certain height. If you're taller, it might work differently for you. You might want to switch it up, but halfway down works for me. Then we're going to take the fat side and lay it on top of the skinny side, like you see here, and you're going to form an X. So here we are with the two ends forming an X. Once we have the X, the next step is going to be pulling that fat end up and through the loop. And once we pull it down and get it tight, it's going to look a little bit like this. All right, so once we've got that fat end pulled down, we're going to wrap it around the back of the knot that we created. So here's where we're going to form the triangle of the knot. We're going to pull that fat end down and through the loop, and the knot should look like this. All right, so at this point we're really shaping our knot. We're going to take the fat end and wrap it around in front, and that's what's going to form the front of our tie. So now that we have the front of our knot created, we're going to pull the fat end up and through that loop. And once it's through the loop, we're going to continue going under the front of the tie. So that's an over and then under kind of thing. And then once we pull it up and pull it tight, it should look something like this. Okay, so here we are at the last step. We're going to hold on to the bottom of the tie, slide the knot snug up to our neck, fold down the collars, finally tidy it up a bit, and that's how you tie a full Windsor. Hey, thanks for watching. For more quick tips, check out BrokeAndSuave.com. Now as a bonus, here's what it looks like to tie this tie from your perspective. <laughs>